All right, good morning. I'm Jared Klein here from the NBC 29 Digital Desk coming to you live with your morning rush on this Tuesday morning. We begin with a big step toward increasing the amount of affordable housing in the city of Charlottesville. The city's redevelopment and housing authority voted last night to spend $10 million on more than 70 units. They're located around Charlottesville and they range from one to four bedroom homes. But this process is not finished just yet. City Council still needs to agree to contribute $5 million. Another $5 million will be loaned from a private donor. All right, well, later today, the University of Virginia is set to host a town hall to talk about gun violence and community safety. Earlier this month, as you know, a UVA contractor was shot and killed. University leaders and law enforcement will talk about efforts to better understand the root causes of gun violence in the area and to develop long term solutions. Well, after the loss of her son, a Rockersville mother is fighting to make sure no other family has to go through the same pain she has endured. Since her 21 year old son Austin died last February from a fentanyl overdose, Tanya Shiflett has been fighting to raise awareness of the dangers of the drug. His family has attended rallies and joined groups such as Lost Voices of Fentanyl. We know about fentanyl and what it's in and you know any any drug that you get these days you don't know what you're getting. We really are trying to just get the word out to help save another child. And the family encourages anyone who needs help to get it and to remember even one pill can kill. Lost Voices of Fentanyl will be holding its third annual rally in DC that is set for September. Volunteers in Virginia are stepping up to help the thousands devastated by dangerous tornadoes down across Mississippi and Georgia. You can see the damage here, just absolute uh, wreckage left behind. The American Red Cross has sent four volunteers from the Commonwealth so far and more than 200 from across the United States to aid in disaster relief. People are working to set up shelters, distribute food, and provide mental health and spiritual care services. There's been significant loss of life as a result of these storms, so there's going to be a lot of mental health needs within the population that we're caring for in these immediate days and hours. And you can donate or sign up to volunteer through the American Red Cross the Central Virginia Chapters website. We have that link for you over on NBC 29. Com. Well, some changes are on the way for a map that leads people around Charlottesville's historic sites. The existing tour covers spots on and around the downtown mall and court square. The map is being revised because members of the Historic Resources Committee says uh, history is ever changing. For the past few years, we've really learned so much more about our really deep history uh, that involves many more people than the ones that you often hear about. And those are the voices that we really hope to bring out in this new tour. The committee hopes the new map will be available for the community sometime this year. And it also would like some of your feedback so the map can continue to be updated. All right, yesterday we started out with the cloud cover, but then the sun eventually came out and it turned out to be a beautiful Monday afternoon. Now today we're expecting the complete opposite. It's supposed to be a sunny morning, but then the clouds and rain showers are set to move in later today. Let's send things over to meteorologist David Rogers with more. Good morning, everybody. On this chilly Tuesday morning, after reaching the low 70s yesterday, we'll be trending a little cooler the next couple of days as the jet stream takes a little bit of a dip across the mid-Atlantic. 60-degree temperatures today and tomorrow, and only in the 50s by Thursday. We'll see increasing clouds today. Much of the day will be dry. As we get into the evening hours, there will be an area of low pressure developing to our south, and that will bring some rain showers to the area later today into the overnight hours, but it looks like conditions should start to clear out as we look ahead to your day on Wednesday. It's a quick look at your forecast for now. Have a great and safe day. All right, thank you, David, and good morning to Donald, who is watching us from Waynesboro this morning. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast brought to you by Michael and Sun Heating. A high of 61 today with those PM showers and tomorrow 
Also 61 clearing and breezy. It looks like we're going to stick uh, around the 60 degree mark later this week until Friday when we warm up uh, to a high of 69 and then Saturday looking like our warmest day with a high of 76. Hey, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday out there and we'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon. And again, you can always catch us live on NBC 29 News dot, or excuse me, NBC 29.com and the NBC 29 News Facebook and Twitter pages.